Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. Your girl hasn't been, you know, vlogging too much. I've been getting myself together, you know, with this new year and stuff for real. Um, but I did want to go ahead and start this vlog. It's not gonna be posted anytime soon or anything like that. But I did want to show you guys that some of the things that I got. I do plan on having a Valentine's Day. Well, change that. Galentine's with a G. Um for the girls a lot of girls uh, i want to have a galentine's day uh brunch so i'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff that i got um that's for my boyfriend i went some valentine's day shopping too and yeah so i got this cute little pink tray to put like waffles or whatever on i was gonna get two but i decided to just get one for right now um i tried to get as much as i wanted right now even though i do know that like valentine's day stuff they go pretty fast any holiday stuff really so yeah i got these two little head things one's for my mom one's for me i don't know which one i'm gonna wear to the party because i don't know what color yet i'm wearing i was thinking about wearing pink i do not wear pink often at all you guys but i think i might wear pink i got those two i got these balloons Ooh these balloons they're just heart shaped only 12 of them didn't need nothing crazy and then i got these little party favors which are just like rings i was gonna get the necklaces but it was only like three in a pack so i might as well get the ring um oh this is for my boyfriend <laughs> then i got these cute little love plates so people can eat their food on um put that all back in the bag And then the second bag, so I got these. So this is the reason why I really came to, to the store in the first place. They had it at the dollar store, y'all. These are so cute. Look at these cute little flute glasses. Like, I only have four of them, and I need to have seven. So I need to find another dollar store that has these um, soon. Because I'm pretty sure these are going to be gone very quickly. Because, like I said, it's only four that was in there right now. So, And I went to my best dollar store that I know. So these are so cute, aren't they? Yeah, I got four of them. For all the guests um and then the last thing that i got was some more decorations just to put this on like the counter where the food is and stuff i got two of these and yeah i was gonna get like some tinsel or like some light up um hearts stuff like that i think it's gonna be like on a second trip around um but this is on the first trip around i think i did pretty good i spent 20 dollars in total and that's not even with all the stuff. That's like um, excluding like four things that I got from there. But yeah. So stay tuned for the rest of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And it will probably be finished like, you know, I don't know where I'm going to pick back up with this. But I did want to start it right now. So yeah. Hey, you guys. So it is the next day after um shopping for those valentine's day or the galentine's day party that i plan to have or the brunch or whatever so i happened to be out in a different area so i thought why not go look for another um dollar store because where i got them from i don't know if i mentioned that in the last clip i don't know but i ended up getting some garland so it can go like across like um the counter so i thought that would be cute just to give a little bit of festive look and i did find the glasses y'all the, the dollar store i went to i've never been to this dollar store it looks like it's in the cut but it's huge y'all and i will always go here now and then we have the cups or the glasses or whatever got three more of them and then i got some more like stuff that i wanted <laughs> by myself but i also got like a tray for like the food like waffles or anything like that so i got a tray yesterday it was pink and then i have this one too i'm gonna get a red one that looks just like the pink one but my mother wasn't responding and so i'm gonna end up using this for something else so therefore it won't just be just for the brunch it'll be for something else in the house and then i got this longer tray that has like the three sections in it i was debating about getting this one or if i wanted one of the circle ones that you could put like, fruit in if I was I could do fruit in here or I could do eggs, I could do, you know, a multitude of different things. So 
yeah I just wanted to come on here and show you guys that oh did she get my hold on I'm missing something oh, okay I got this too y'all I just happened to be in line and I saw this um good thing I'm not posting this until afterwards so it works but I got this little bell that was so cute it says ring for a kiss for my boyfriend now that he has gotten this gift and valentine's day is over i just wanted to say that he actually really liked this gift because now he won't stop ringing it but it's okay i put that in his um valentine's day gift too so yeah just thought it was cute i mean it's only a dollar 25 why not but in this economy that's a lot so yeah i just wanted to come on here and show you guys that motivated to record and hope you guys like that las vegas trip blog part one part two i know i posted part two really really late and it's been done i just didn't feel like posting like it's on my computer it was on my computer and everything just didn't post it but it's okay though anyway i started this vlog off i don't even know when i started this off i know it was sometime in january um y'all will see because before this clip or before the clips of whatever I do. <laughs> um, I started it in January. I got some things for the Valentine's Day. Uh, I mean, Galentine's Day, sorry. Brunch of mine. It is in full effect. Everybody has RSVP and everything like that. I'm so excited. Today is currently Friday and it's going to be on Sunday. Um, so, today is the day I'm going to go out for like all my groceries and stuff like that because i'm going somewhere tomorrow um it's like a little quick day trip i'm going to new jersey um i'm going to try to get a couple clips of that as well throw it in this vlog maybe who knows um either way whether i do or i don't i hope you guys enjoy this vlog um i'm about to go ahead and get dressed because my goal is to be out the house by like 9 39 45 ish because I want to get stuff out the way and done early on today. Um, and yes, yeah, so I'm going to go to the dollar store first. Um, because right now we're on a budget. Um, so yeah, we're on a budget. <clears throat> so we're going to go to the dollar store first and see what I can get from there. And then from the dollar store, if I can't find other things, I'm going to go to... Excuse me, I'm talking too fast. I'm going to go to two dollar stores first. And then I'm going to go to a Walmart. So, just wanted to check out what they have at the dollar store because some of the things that I do need are at the dollar store. And I also have a purchase that I made from the dollar store, but I don't need it anymore because I found a better deal at Ross. So, at the dollar store, I was like, I've never returned anything at the dollar store. So, it turns out, dollar store doesn't do returns, but they do exchanges. So, I'm going to try my best to find the same amount of stuff that I got from the dollar store before today so i can do a proper exchange i don't have to keep anything that i didn't need to begin with so yes stay tuned for that um yeah come along with me today period <laughs> all right you guys so i am fully dressed now um this is the fit something chill oh, i feel like i'm covering the mic hold on hopefully y'all can hear me but yeah i'm dressed my hair is pinned up still y'all so that's why i look like i'm kind of bald because i don't feel like dealing with taking it out right now because i'm just running errands today so yeah so yeah, i just kept the neutral neutral colors you know i love a neutral color honey 
but um yeah i just wanted to come on here and show y'all my outfit i'm about to go out and start the car and stuff and then we'll be on our way but right now i'm just taking out fendi making sure he's good before i leave the house and yeah stay tuned my car that we are so fascinated by okay so all right you guys sorry i had a little praise break you feel me um we're at the first um dollar store right now i think i got all of the things on my list they're on my phone but i also have the physical list too um so yeah so we're going to go in all right um <clears throat> all right so i just got out of the the first dollar store, right? I didn't find much. I found some things. And then I like towards the end, I was like, okay, I'm gonna start stacking up right here. Um, because I needed the chocolate covered strawberries and stuff. And so I needed chocolate. And so I'm just gonna, I was like, I'm just gonna use what I always use, which is Hershey chocolate. So I got three of them because I don't know how many strawberries I'm gonna cover, but I just need a good amount to cover them. And then I was gonna drizzle some of them in like the white chocolate like across it so i only needed one and i found this at the register because at first i didn't see it and so i needed to exchange nine things and at first i only had like four or five so i found it but i'm gonna do like one 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 are you dumb i think she's, I dumb. Think she's dumb i think she's dumb I think she's are dumb. you like medically speaking are you like like I'm not trying to be mean. Like, are you dumb? Are you? D I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. I think is she. Do you oh, think she's? she's dumb. dumb. English. I'm gonna do one big haul of everything that I got to. Oh, not drive reverse. Um, at the very end. So yeah, I'm about to head to the gas station. Matter of fact. What is the best way to get out of here? Because they both are parked, like, totally wrong. I don't know if y'all have this, but I have... I don't know what it's called, but, like, shopping anxiety, kind of. So, like, I like to go with other people sometimes. So I can, like, kind of confirm, like, should I do this, should I do that? Or the anxiety comes from the fact, like, it's too many people around me. And I knew that that area wouldn't be too, like, great as far as, like, being in there to shop alone and like take the time think process what's going in your going through your head like should i get this or should i not like i cannot mm -mm. if there's too many people around me i'm like you know what i quit i'm about to leave and i'm not you know i'm not shopping no more forget it at the end of the shopping chore um so yeah so comment down below if y'all get that like same feeling because for me yeah i can't do it I was about to like give up and just leave. But I started finding like a couple little things like I said at the register. If I ain't find those things, I'd have been gone. Because I just couldn't do it no more. We have made it to the second dollar store, y'all. I got my gas. And now we're about to go into the store. Hopefully it's better luck in here. Y'all, I see a total discount liquor over here. And it makes me kind of want to go in there just to see what they have. I don't have any money to be buying liquor right now. And I haven't even, like, even had liquor in a while. With, like, me being on, like, my diet and stuff like that. So, or not even diet, just eating better in general. And I don't know if y'all know, but liquor does add on some type of pounds. But, um, yeah. So, I'm still going to go in there, though. I think I'm still going to go in there. We're going to see. We're going to see. Let's go. Yeah, so I am in here at the the discount. Um, oh my gosh, it's like a stain from my lip gloss. Um, I'm here at the discount. Oh my gosh, the discount. Um, I can't even speak. The discount liquor store, y'all. It's literally like a whole like Walmart in here. And y'all, I've been looking for this liquor for so long. And look, look, y'all. Y'all see it? It's called Castello del 
Hoyo, I think, Hoyo, something like that, I don't know. But they have, I tried the sweet red one. That one is so good, so if y'all ever like see it, get it. Um, and it's only like 10, it's only $11. But I also see a Peach Dreams and Sweet Rose. The regular one is good too, that's the one you're probably gonna see. But the sweet red one, I had that in Virginia. And I just have to get it. I have to get it. You don't know how long I've been looking for this. I'm so glad I caught that moment on camera because, yeah. I was looking at the Stella Rosa and I was like, should I get a Stella Rosa? And I was like, nah, don't worry about it. The one I saw this, yeah, I had to get it. Okay, we get it. Damn. We get it. We get it. We get it. All right, guys. So I told you I had a limit of, I don't know if I told you I had a limit, but the limit is $100, right? So far, this bag didn't cost anything because it was an even exchange. I had to get the liquors, y'all. Um, so a part of that is gonna be actually a part of the limit. So five dollars, six dollars. We really spent only about six something dollars. But um I did go outside my limit as far as like what I need for the actual brunch. I got one, two, three four things outside of what i needed so we're gonna leave it at that because we don't need anything else coming out of my freaking off my card y'all so now we are about to head to walmart which is literally right down the street like the next parking lot over we're gonna head there and we're gonna just end our day off at walmart and then i will show you guys everything that i got we're at Wally World, Wally World. Do y'all call it Wally World? Or do y'all just call it Walmart? I call it Walmart, but I've heard of Wally World. All right, let's grab a cart. I'm grabbing from back here because obviously something's wrong. Okay. Something must be wrong with those. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Here we go. Let's go. All right, you guys. Uh, you guys can't see it, but I got my groceries. I really couldn't record in Walmart because I just was doing a lot. I was making sure like my prices and stuff like that was correct and stuff. Like I said, we're, we're balling on a budget. So, um, just making sure that everything was what they're supposed to be and i'll just mark everything down so i can just keep track of how much is what so i just did the math and everything like that once i got back in the car as far as um how much i went over and that's only because i went into the liquor store if i didn't go into the liquor store i wouldn't have gone over um actually actually i probably would have went over still i forgot to add that one to there so because of that so yeah so at first when i did do the calculation i only went over like six dollars not bad at all i think that's great um but i think i actually went over um eleven dollars still not bad like it's not like oh i went over fifty dollars or nothing like that i still think i did a pretty decent job especially for what i got and like the large quantities that i got um plus I was thinking of afterwards so like i'm getting the ingredients for the brunch but like i'm still gonna have some of these things afterwards so it's not like it's just oh i just spent something something plus a hundred dollars for just the brunch no i also have it towards like me and like my mother and stuff. Oh, police car Slow down. girl let me groceries inside though luckily i put them in a really big bag don't ask why i'm doing an accent 
but I put them in a really big bag, like a really big Sam's bag. So that's how I carry my groceries in. I still have a couple that's right here in front with me. So I gotta get another bag to put it in. But yeah. Yep, got ourselves some eggs. I got the name, I mean, the great value. Don't be coming at me in the comments or nothing like that. Don't come at me. Don't be judging me, nothing like that. Just like I got great value. Great value has great value. Plus, I have other stuff that I'm putting inside of the drink that I'm going to be using this for. Fendi. Jesus. Um. So, it's going to taste good. So, don't, you don't do too much. I told you I was on a budget. So, I got myself some nails because... From the dollar store, y'all. This is from the dollar store. Glue, twenty-four pack and everything. So hopefully, we'll see how it holds up. Because I mean, this is the dollar store. I just needed something because my nails weren't done, and I couldn't do it. I got some honey to use in my ingredients. So I got two bags of these because I'm supposed to be having chocolate covered pretzels. And I knew they had like these at the dollar store, so I got these. For all my white chocolate lovers, I got some chicken broth so I can make the sauce that goes on top of the shrimp and grits, or the top of the grits. The shrimp, I mean the grits are going to go in these little cups right here. I thought they were so cute. Got that from the dollar store. And I think, I yeah, I told you guys about the chocolate. So I got three of the regular, one of the white chocolate. that now on to the liquor store that i stopped at so this is the one that i was talking about y'all that y'all need to go get it's called sweet red by costello y'all if y'all want to type of people that don't like bitter wines and it's very hard for you to find like wines that are not bitter get you costello sweet red okay like it's actually sweet and if not, we haven't tried Stella Rosa, so go try Stella Rosa. And specifically, the, I don't know if it's Golden Honey or Honey Golden. I think it's Golden Honey. But try that one, the gold one. And holla back at me. I got some margarita mix, the strawberry margarita mix. Um, it's also, well, it's daiquiri margarita mix, whatever. That's what's going with this as well, y'all. I really does this, y'all know that, but I'm really a bartender. I also got the Black Girl Magic Liquor, y'all. I'm really excited to try it. I'm going to wait till my mom gets home to try it because I mean, like, why not? What better month to try it in and to find it in the store than Black History Month? Black Power. Blacker than black and I'm black, y'all. I'm blickety black, blacker than black, black. I'm all right. So that's all that. Now we're going to move into the walmart bag first thing up so i'm gonna be having fruit it was cheaper to buy the regular pineapple versus the ones that are already cut up i know how to cut up pineapple so that's not too much for me um got two lemons that's what was smelling like that duh because they're onions got some green onions For more of my fruit, I also got blueberries because I'm going to be making parfaits as well as I have a fruit tray too. And then I got a big thing of strawberries because I have to do the chocolate covered strawberries. I have heart shaped strawberries that are going to go into the drink. Um, and then the regular strawberries have to go into the tray. So let's pray this is enough. So. Some orange juice and I'll show you later what is going with the orange juice. Got some good old orange juice. Didn't need too much because we, we didn't ask them to stay. So, you know, <laughs> I got some heavy cream also using for my um, shrimp and grits. What else? So, I'm going to be 
So for the parfaits, of course we need some yogurt. I do not eat yogurt, y'all. I don't. I don't like yogurt. But I was like, this is the cheapest one to get. I figured I would really only need one, but this was cheaper than getting one. Plus my mom likes yogurt, so I'm gonna let her have the rest. I don't use it all. All right. On to some more drinks. I got the regular apple um cider apple cider. The regular sparkling cider um right here. This is gonna go with the orange juice to make like um a mock mimosa. So yeah. Because I don't know, a lot of people really don't like mimosas. People just get them because a lot of the times it's like, oh, that's the biggest deal at a breakfast or a brunch place. But nobody really likes mimosas because nobody really likes champagne and how bitter it is. You feel me? So I just got the mock one. I also got the mock of the virgin strawberry daiquiri. Um, of course, I have other liquor. I have liquor downstairs, by the way, too. I have some tequila. And I also have some dark liquor, which is Hennessy. Um, if they want to mix it with dark liquor, anything with dark liquor or the tequila is their choice. Um, but yeah, I'll probably sh I'm going to probably show you guys me making everything the day of. Well, not everything, but you know what I mean. So yeah. So as far as the breakfast potatoes, I think I might cheat a little bit and I'm not going to make them. I'm going to end up just using these because these are really good. And these are the only two they had, y'all. I wanted three. I think I have some downstairs, but I'm not sure. But they're garlic butter roasted potatoes. They're so good, y'all. Do not sleep on them. They're so good. So these are the only freaking freaking sausages I could get. And I really wanted to make sure like I appeal to everybody's um taste buds. So I did get bacon and I got regular bacon. So obviously pork. I didn't get turkey bacon because I don't like turkey bacon. And if there's anything left over, it needs to be something that I'm going to eat. So, I got the regular bacon. Whereas, turkey sausage, I think I'm more liable to eat turkey sausage than, than the bacon. So, I found some turkey sausage, which of course was expensive because, I mean, look at the packaging. I mean, like, what? But that's all I could find. I also got some croissants in which I'm going to make my aunt's um well we call it my aunt's recipe of honey butter croissants is really easy to make it's muy delicioso all right anyway moving on this is not for the actual thing so i really really should count this out of it but i'm probably going to use some of this like if people want to use it but i don't know i'm gonna try it though but i've seen this on tiktok of course you know we fall victim to tiktok all the time and if you say you don't, you're lying. Anyway, so it's called, it's just chicken dipping sauce, great value. And it's supposed to taste like Chick-fil-A sauce. So we're gonna try it out. And then I also have food coloring. I only need the pink, obviously for Valentine's Day. I'm going to be putting it in the batter for the waffles. Cause I'm gonna make both regular colored waffles and pink colored waffles. Moving on. I got some chicken breast tenderloin. So I'm going to be cutting them up into little popcorn chicken because I'm going to be serving it as uh, chicken and waffles. Bacon, we already talked about this. Both of these are for the shrimp and grits. It's shrimp and then the um, sausage. I got turkey smoked sausage. So yes, it still appeals for people who do not eat pork as well. I try to like, you know, incorporate everything. All right, so now you have pancake mix to make the waffles. I got a really, really, really big thing of cheese because I feel like I just use cheese in everything. Cheese is just a great necessity and I'm gonna need some more afterwards. I also got some chicken breading mix so I can make those um, popcorn chicken. And yeah, that is all of the things that I got at the price of maybe like, I'm gonna say all of it together is probably 120, 130. Which I think I did pretty, really, like, really, really good, especially in this economy, y'all. This economy is crazy. Um, I am going to bring you guys downstairs so you guys can see the setup as far as how I'm going to have everything done ahead of time. So when I do do it on the day of, because I know it's going to be really hectic and stuff, I know I'm not going to have time to really explain what's going where and stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. All right, it. you guys. So we are downstairs now. Just so y'all know, 
before y'all even say anything, everything has been washed, wiped down, bleached, everything, y'all. Everything in this area. Everything. And it's the only time I'm going to say it. So, here we go. So, we have over here, we got the, the plates and stuff. We have these plates. This is going to hold the um, silverware and stuff. I just haven't put it in there because I'm going to wait to the day of. That way, like, a whole bunch of particles and all that stuff doesn't fall on it. Over here, we're going to have eggs with cheese. I'm sorry, with cheese and without cheese. We also have the chicken and waffles in the back. As you can see, I have the utensils next to everything. I want it to be pre-prepared because I'm, like, I just want to make sure, like, I'm good as far as timing and everything. We have some decor right here. I actually made those right here. Right here, we're going to have the bacon and the sausage. I forgot to make the sign for the sausage, so I started to do that. As you're wondering what these, these have been washed too. Everything. Anyway, this right here, I saw on TikTok, again, like, this girl made her bacon into roses. So, I'm going to be putting the bacon into little roses, and this is going to be the greenery. These are where the grit cup, the grits cups are going to sit right in this area. Um, we're going to have the sauce, the spoon with the sauce. The breakfast potatoes are going to be right here. Our napkins are right here. I have like a little middle centerpiece kind of with flowers. The menu is going to sit right here in this little stand. It's actually coming today. Right here is going to be the fruit where we had the pineapples, the blueberries, and some strawberries. Right here is going to be Oh, I'm sorry, not though. That's going to be the honey butter croissants. And right here, I'm going to have like some butter as well. So people can use that too. Over here, these cups are just like stand in, so I know that it fits. Um, this is going to be where the parfaits are. I'm not putting too much out because not everybody likes yogurt. So yeah. Right here is going to be the little dessert area. This side is going to be the chocolate covered strawberries. This side is going to be the white chocolate pretzels. All right, so the drink table, and right here, I'm going to bring my microwave from upstairs down here so people don't have to keep going up and down the steps. But right here is the drink table. We're going to have the strawberry daiquiri, like I showed you, the virgin, the orange juice, and the sparkling cider, and then the strawberry lemonade margaritas. And look at these cups, y'all. These came from the dollar store. And if y'all want to know, like, where certain things came from, just let me know in the um comment section down below stay tuned for the day of the event okay y'all but let's get into my menu i told y'all about it earlier i didn't have it when i was talking about it but my mom putting them out today and i did that i made that let me put the camera around so y'all can get a better view like get into it get into the descriptions the graphics honey like what book me now the drink menu it's a little so-so but still book me like what so today is the brunch and i just want to start by apologizing i was supposed to record myself making the different platters and different foods and stuff like that but y'all because it was just me and i got in late the night before um coming from new jersey i was already tired and like i said it was just me so therefore i had to just start cooking as soon as i got up and I was cooking ever since people, like, once people got there, I was, like, literally putting on my clothes. So here's a couple clips from it. I did have a good time. They did, too. And I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, 